Here we have five boards. <clears throat> They're stacked in a pile. And the pile contains one board of these types. <clears throat> so there's one maple, one ash, one oak, one pine, and one walnut. <clears throat> and they give us some logical facts right here. Wherever the maple is, it's lower in the stack than the walnut board. So walnut, maple. Exactly two boards are between the walnut board and the oak board. <clears throat> okay, that's somewhat helpful. And here, the ash board is the third from top. <clears throat> that's helpful. So if we have a top board, another board, ash has to be third. So there are two boards below it and two boards above it. We need more information, though. Here, <clears throat> it says if the top board is a walnut, oh, good. So we're putting this here. Which board is on the bottom? Well, we can figure this out now because... <clears throat> Excuse me. This was, we're done with this one. The ash board is third from the top. But now this one's very helpful. Exactly two boards are between the walnut board and the oak board. Well, <clears throat> that means that the oak board has to be right here. Because if it was lower, there would be three boards between <clears throat> oak and walnut. So that was useful. Now we know that the maple board is lower in the stack <clears throat> than the walnut board. Well, this means <clears throat> that there are two spots for the maple. You can go here or here. We don't know where. So that means that the pine could also go here or here. So our answer is D. Either pine or maple, <coughs> excuse me, but it is not possible to determine which one. <clears throat>